when I looked at it, unlike the rest of the pocketbook, the writings here are mess was messy, disorganized, scrawled. The spare walks among us at- oh, God damn it, let me read that. What is this? What does it mean? I have no idea. How could this possibly make any sense? The spare walks among us, and so we survive. There's a second despair. Locker pocketbook has been added to the truth bullet. Alright. So I'm guessing all these locker rooms... But the more I see, the less it makes sense. Because these lockers... I mean, they had to belong to previous students, right? So why am I seeing this? Why are there, there are the things in this locker that look like they belong to the people here? A notebook that seems like it belongs to here. A notebook that seems like it belongs to Hiro, and a pocketbook that seems like it belongs to Kyoko. There has to be some kind of explanation. But if I want to find out, I have to keep moving investigation forward. I have to believe in everyone. Okay. So we we'll searched for three lockers. Seems like three more to go. I assume that this was like a not a broken locker, but never mind. Let me see, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 plus 6. Once again, 15. One of these lockers is not... Okay, so these has to relate to, of course, the students as well. Alright. Fourth locker, here we go. Look at... Blah, blah, blah. What's inside? Okay, no clue. Alright, so two of us are don't really use our lockers that much, apparently. Four of us! I'm sorry, not four of us. Three of us don't use our lockers that often, apparently. Okay, so I guess only Hiro and Kyoko uses our uses the lockers. Alright. Seems like that's that for this area. No, I didn't even get to search the dead body! What the fuck? Um, this is a school announcement. Is everyone working hard? Is your investigation coming along nicely? Well then, since you're all giving it your best, your generous headmaster will give you a little hint. Okay. <laughs> For those of you who are interested, please make your way to the gym ASA possible. What? Now he wants to give us a hint? It's suspicious. There's no doubt about that. This could be a trap, even knowing that. He said to go to the gym, right? Alright, what the fuck's going on at the gym? And why is everyone... Oh, hey Yasuhiro. What the fuck are you, Ben? <laughs> Oh, hey, Hero. <laughs> ah, Makoto! Why Jack's so surprised? Uh, um... Uh oh, no reason. You heard Ma Monokuma's announcement, right? Are you here to find out what he has to say? <sighs> I... I... I just did, actually. I'm on my way out. You already talked to him? What'd he say? Listen, sorry, but, but I... Uh -huh. I gotta go! I was hoping to talk to him about the notebook I found in the locker. Has he been hiding somewhere this whole time? Yeah, I haven't seen him yet, so... Either he's just playing dumb again, or he's suspicious. Alright, what the fuck's going on beyond the door? I'm guessing it's just me here. Okay. I am Hello, welcome, welcome, hello. How are you ready for your final hint? Well, it just so happens to be in the envelope on the crown in front of you. Alright. Eh, goddammit. This must be the envelope. Okay. Ooh, and just so you know, I won't be answering any questions about what you find inside. Oh, what? Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> Just get a move on. Okay. Monokuma's cryptic words didn't make me feel any better. But I picked up the envelope and opened it. What I found was a single photograph. No, I'm not gonna make that reference. Fuck okay. it. Real 
really now? Wait, where's me? Why am I not in the... It could be for an individual person, so what Yasuhiro saw, he didn't saw himself in the photo. It featured a bunch of faces I recognized extremely well. It's pretty much everyone, including fucking Makuro as well, but also the students that are alive. <laughs> I like how Junko's face is like being covered, as if like she had like no relevance to the plot whatsoever. What's the color, what's the tie color, like from referencing to Monokuma's color scheme? I thought that was like some sort of cryptic message at se for, a se for a second, but it seems like everyone else has like some sort of different clothing as well. Saika has black hair now. Okay. Kirikuri's back in the background, it's like, I don't give a shit, what do I have to do this photo? Uh... Okay. Aoi's there. Fiyakuya just doesn't give a shit. Same thing for Toko. It featured a bunch of faces I recognize extremely well. It was everyone who'd come to Hope's Peak at the same time as me. But wait... There's someone behind Sayaka. She's the only one I don't recognize. Oh god damn it, phone not now. Wait, that's not true. I do recognize her. That's right, Byak when Byakuya and I were in the headmaster room, and we looked at the file, Kuru Ikusaba. And then this girl is... What? Why? Why is Makuro- Again, no questions. Just having everyone here pose like this is weird enough by itself, and we're all wearing matching uniforms. I don't remember anything like that. <laughs> I mean, Leon doesn't really seem like he's... He's more like freestyle. Same thing goes for Yasuhiro as well, and definitely Mondo. Man, like, it seems like only uh, Taka, and I'm trying to remember his name, the red, the red eyes dude, and Byakuya is wearing the appropriate uniforms. But we're all wearing matching uniforms. I don't remember anything like that. I'm guessing, like, if I was in this photo, I would probably be, um, uh, sorry, Makoto, he would probably be, like, next to Aoi, either sitting down on the ta on the chair right there, because that seems like there's a very big open space there, so my theory is that whatever Monokuma is presenting the photo here, he's presenting a photo of everyone except for the person that's watching the photo. Because that seems like a very big open space right there. And now that I'm looking at everyone, it's not even everyone. I'm not in the picture. I'm the only one not there. The picture has all 15 other students, but not me. But I guess that makes sense. After all, I don't remember ever taking a picture like this. I went to junior high with Sayaka, but the first time I met everyone else was when I arrived here at Hope's Peak Academy. So it's natural for me to not be in the picture, but what's definitely unnatural is that everyone else is in the picture. I thought everyone was like me and didn't know each other till they got here. But if this picture is quote unquote real, then could that mean, could it be everyone else and just me? Everyone here, except me, is... <laughs> Foo, how long are you gonna keep up this rambling soliloquy of yours, Hamlet? What are you gonna do? You're kinda getting in the way standing there, you know? Hmm. So, I mean, get out. But, but, I told you, I'm not dealing with any questions. Okay. Damn it. This is an interesting photo. That could also explain the other photos as well that we've seen. So in the end, all I found in the gym was even more confusion. And with that confusion in hand, I let the gym dejected. Is anyone here too? How does that count as a hint? It just made it even more confusing. Is that what Monokuma was going for? Did he put together a fake photo just to confuse me? <sighs> but it looks so real. So full of life. How could anyone fake that? Which would mean everyone but me. Maybe I should just ask everyone directly. That should clear th a lot of things up. No! I have to clear this all this up. Alright. So I guess that's our next task. Although to be fair, I feel like... The next agenda is to search for that dead body, now that I have the thing. Not that, but I don't think I know everyone's location.
location. Nope, I, okay, nope, never mind. Everyone's, uh... Oh, she's in the bio lab, okay, so... Might as well talk to Toko at the same time. Actually, who wait, wait, Oh, yeah, no, Toko was in the back, in the background. I was like, Toko wasn't noticeable there, but at the same time, it's like, she, she's not the type of person to be noticeable. Okay. I said to visit the bio lab one more time. And the first thing I saw when I got there... Was her passed out again. So, I'm gonna assume she's gonna turn into Genocide Jill. Oh, no, the dead body's here. Okay, so... This is the last body, I'm guessing. Let's open. Oh, but Toko. Fine, I'll check up on her, I guess. This is Toko, are you okay? No, no. She's not dead, is she? Fuck me in the ball sack. I got a super cold. I'm gonna get a bad cold. If you keep taking naps in a place like this, I'm sure you will. What was I sleeping? But I'm still feeling good. I bet you were sleeping with me. No, fuck it. I'm giving her Elvis. No, I wasn't. Oh, the wolf boy was one of the stories. So horny. Um. Okay. So why'd you pass out? I don't know. Last thing I remember was waking up, and I was gonna miss more. Oh, that's right. Your memory stops and starts uh, each time you switch. And don't say that it was a bad thing, it's a bad thing that I'm concerned. Because even if she forgets sometimes, I totally remember. So it's like a double memory. Oh no, it's more like half. <laughs> okay, I guess this is going to be counting as evidence as well, why not? What I want to know is what a little darling. Tell me when I'll, I'll slit your throat. I don't know. I'm sure Biokyo is somewhere around somewhere doing his own Ooh, investigation. Yes, yes. By himself? I assume so. Oh, I knew, I totally knew. I'm totally reporting to the other company's little master. <laughs> anyway, I gotta hurry. I can't even imagine it all on the other somewhere right now. Okay. Well, so, I honestly do not even care anymore. <laughs> I'm not even bothered questioning her. So, I'll show her your life and biography behind. I forgot to ask her about the picture. Who the fuck cares? I'll ask someone else about the picture, okay? Besides, I have more points than these right now. Why did Toko faint? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it has to do with the fucking dead body right here? Jesus Christ, you're so oblivious, Makoto. Fridge, it's open. I'm sure they were all shut la tight last time I was here. That must be why she passed out. Right. Oh, hi, Kiri Kiri. She faints so easily. K Kyoko! Makoto. It's getting late, isn't it? Are you okay? Indeed. I'm sorry if I made you worry. N no, you don't have to apologize. Listen. But listen, about this room. Oh yeah, it's... Listen. It's a... I, I figured that out. I knew it. And Toko must have looked inside the fridge, seen what was in there, and, well, there you have it. How the fuck did she open the fridge, and why the fuck didn't I open the fridge? God, okay, whatever. Indeed. Uh, I was on my way here when Genocide Jack came running past me. I assume she must have sneezed, but once I got inside, the real reason became clear. I imagine she came f to investigate, and when she opened the slot here, that's when she saw the body inside and dropped like a bag of rocks. Why is everything having so anyway. difficult with her? Anyway, we should s close it up. I want to leave it hanging out open to you. Yeah, good idea. What's wrong? Listen. Maybe we should wait a second before closing it. Oh, duh! Because Mir- Okay. I see. Just like every other time, the mastermind probably brought it up here while she was in- We were in the class trial. Mastermind did it because they assumed we would- Okay. So... Might be right. Either way, now I have finally got a good look at the body. Makoto. I need to do my own examination of the corpse as soon as possible. I'm gonna find clues. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what should Stay I do? Then. Why don't you wait over there, else? <laughs> okay. Alright. How long does it take? Probably should actually. Draw, oh, she's in it too. Don't let me interrupt your investigation, but I wanted to talk to you about something. What is it? It's about that announcement Monokuma made you earlier. You mean the one about a hint or something? I didn't take him up on the offer. Huh? Why not? The only reason he gave us a hint at this point will be to confuse us, to cloud our judgment. 
I can solve this mystery on my own without whatever hints he may have to offer. That's a good point. I wish I could go back to do the same thing, but what son is done, I guess. I'm sitting here looking at her. I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Is she right? Did the mastermind forge that picture as a trap to confuse us? That's gotta be it. There's no other explanation. We probably have to question everyone else and what, see what their take is on it. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is just repeating everything now. <sighs> because... Okay, so I can't talk to her about the picture. Okay. Thanks for. Oh, oh, okay. So someone's in there. The blue light comes on. Looks around. The number of lights are okay. That's nine in all. Nine. Nine lights. Okay. Nine lights. Seven. No, non lights. Making it a total of 16. Jesus Christ, when the fuck are we gonna investigate this thing? Oh no, I don't wanna look at this thing again. So, if it's assumed that all of our bodies are gonna be stored here, then it has to be Makuro still alive somehow, and that dead body right there is probably a reused body or something. Okay, so now I have the fucking info. Oh, wow. Okay. okay, Makoto, I'm done. Already? Jeez, that was fast. Anyone can do a good work if they go slow in that spirit. I'll make my report brief. Okay. What's your report? So, did you find anything? I paid carefully attention to the wounds and the traces of blood. It's And it seems highly likely that the stomach and below the attack of the head were inflicted after death. Really? The burnt tissue made things a little difficult, but I'm completely confident in my findings. So that means neither of those those were the fatal injuries, right? Then what was the fatal injury? Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. So it can't be that either. The body was covered other wounds with these facilities. Right? The only other option is those other wounds file said they were old. Is that right? Where does it say they're old? Because... Huh? All Motokuma file says that they were inflicted at least several days ago. And I guess I don't see the difference. Yeah. The difference is immense considering the impression they Listen. give. You seem to be equating several days old with simply old. However... But that doesn't quite follow logically. Old wounds, it makes it sound like they've been there forever. Like, they're not related to the murder. Are saying they were... But we all got the Monokuma file right after she was killed, right? So if the wounds were at least a few days old, there's no way they could have had anything to do with so it. Then. But what if Makuro herself wasn't killed within the the last few days? What? At the very least. Certainly you can allow it as one of the many possibilities, can't you? One of many, Jesus Christ. There are way too many possibilities here. Right. A detective doesn't have supernatural powers. There's no way to predict the answer from the beginning. Instead, the ideal detective begins by imagining as many possible possible scenarios as they can. In other words, they envision the envision these possibilities without prejudice, without bias, using only their logic and common sense. As they then, as they investigate, they test what they find against each other, each of these possibilities. <laughs> Of course, my telling you this doesn't mean you'll be any good at detective work. Oh, thanks for the compliment, Bruce Kiyoko. But beyond using that to solve this particular mystery, you should keep it in mind for the future. Alright. Hey. So, if there's anything else you'd like to know about the condition of the body... Alright. There's one thing. Earlier, when I was looking at Makuro's profile, it lists her height and weight. So... Five foot seven inches. Oh shit, that's actually my size. Holy shit. Ninety-seven pounds. Oh, I'm definitely not ninety-seven pounds. Vitals are thirty-one, twenty-two, thirty-two. Did I get all that right? You remembered all that? They are indeed consistent to the corpse. Shit. So then. Indeed. And don't forget about the fin rear tap too. 
There's absolutely no mistake. Indeed. Our victim in this case, without a doubt, Makuro Ikusaba. So, why is there a 7 free... Okay. Makuro Ikusaba profile has been updated. Okay. And? So, this corpse is the same proportions as Makuro Ikusaba. So, it definitely so is Makuro Ikusaba then. And it looks like we have no further business with Makuro's body. Let's get going. It's getting chilly out. Why? Sad? Did you forget she was our enemy once? A part of the ultimate despair. Still got killed. She's still a victim. Hey. We put you so. <sighs> you really are naive. You know that. It's really quite appalling. So for someone like that, it uh, okay. So then. I think we've done all we can do here. Back to our separate investigations. Yes. I still have one more thing to do. Something I need to talk to Kyoko about. Is it the- Oh, that! The notebook, right. I need to ask her about the pocketbook I found in the locker. Alright. If I don't do it now. Alright. Kyoko, I want to talk to you about this notebook. Hey, Kyoko. I did have one last thing. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I have to ask. What? Go ahead, then. Up with it. Have you really not seen your dad even once since you got here? What? What? So... What do you mean? Well, you know all these lock- You know all those lockers in the second floor of the Indeed. dorms? I do, yes. But to get into any of those lockers, you need the handbook of whoever the lockers belong to. Actually, I managed to get them open using the emergency handbook. I see. The one you found in the headmaster's hidden room. And? So, did you find anything worthwhile in the lockers? I found a pocketbook, and after looking through it, I think it might be your pocketbook. Why is that? What makes you say because... that? Because... Like I said, only the locker's owner should be able to get into it, right? I can't imagine those lockers belonging to any of us. After all, we only got access to the area just recently. What I'm saying is, there's no way I could have had access to any of those lockers. And if I did have a pocketbook, why would I bother putting it in a locker? Everything you just said makes perfect sense, but there was something written inside. It was about the headmaster, about your father. If that's true, could that mean that video is real too? Video. Makoto. Makoto, I think everything is finally starting to fit per uh, together to reveal a cohesive picture. Although I'm afraid that picture might be worse than anything we could have ever imagined. W what are you talking about? I need to go investigate those lockers right now. I need to confirm what you just said with my own two eyes. Oh, let me give you the headmaster's handbook, that way you can. So... That won't be necessary. If I'm right about this, I shouldn't have any problem opening the lockers with my own handbook. After all, it would seem that it's my locker. Your locker? Oh. If you watch this, it'll all make sense. A DVD? Oh boy, more backtracking into the AV room, alright. It says, Class 78 Urgent Interviews? So... I found it in that hidden room after you left. Anyway. I don't have time to explain exactly what I think uh, means, so watch yourself. Okay. This should be interesting. I know, right? But I guess that means there's something important. Okay, you see the. Makoto. You have a second to listen to me ramble? In other words. Alright. So it turns out, the arrangements I made didn't stick. What I mean is, I'm less and less sure of everything, even my own feelings. You're talking about your dad, alright? I can never find the answers to the question I wanted to ask for the rest of my life. Uh, <laughs> and all because of the mastermind. However, But there's one thing I am sure of. When it comes to the mastermind, there's no room in my heart to forgiveness. I, I swore to destroy the mastermind. This is just one more reason to follow through on that. Kyoko's eyes is burned with the fire and determination. Determination to defeat the Mastermind. Hmm. It's strange to be confronted with his death and suddenly feel this way. I could care less if my father had found happiness. Why? So why is it? Why does it bother me so much to know how he suffered? It's ridiculous. There's just no understanding it, I guess. She let out a small laugh as she said it, but her smile was filled with sorrow. <laughs> So, that's it for my rambling. 
There's still much to do before I can consider my task complete. Yeah, you're right. Hey. But keep this in mind. There is only ever one absolute truth. Whether that truth is justice or suffering, whether it's the greatest truth or the worst, what do you Makoto. mean? Even if the truth you uncover is filled with hopelessness, you still can't give up hope. Absolutely not, because... Because all I can do is keep moving forward. That's pretty much all I'm good at, you know? <laughs> Indeed. Sorry if that was strange. So then. Anyways, I need to get going. I'll see you at the class trial. Alright. Leaving behind that final farewell. Kyoko's gone. Whew. Okay. Alright. Awesome. And we'll do that right after this break. Stay tuned for our next episode of Danganronpa.